Hello, everybody. Testing, testing. One, two, three. How do I sound? Let me know in the chat. Hello, chat. Hello, chat. Hey, Leaf Sauce. <laughs> Congrats on the win again last last week. Let me know how I sound. Is the music too high? Am I too low? What's the dealio? I'm gonna turn the music down just a little bit, maybe. All right, well, you let me know. Okie dokie artichokey. Hey everybody! Welcome to the live stream. How are you? How's your Easter? Happy Easter if you're celebrating Easter out there. Happy Easter everybody. Today, we are going to be crocheting some bonimals. Um, I think I'm just going to play it kind of cool today. We're going to we're gonna play a little, a little bit more chill than than we have been. It's just we're not gonna be, we're not gonna be being, you know, using our brains too much. We're just gonna make bonimals is all. And and you saw the video in the beginning. Well, not in the beginning of this video, but you know the bonimals intro. You know they're they're created via having your brain turn into pink goo doo doo. So we're gonna do that and just crochet some bonimals today and just hang out and chill and talk and oh yeah there's gonna be a giveaway too there's that there's that also links in the description but I'll explain in just a second all right so today we're gonna to be making some bonimals um, I only have three different colors out here but we're gonna probably be using more colors than that um, I'm gonna ask the chat right now what bonimal you want to see me make first we're probably just gonna go through the gauntlet of of ones that I have uh, that I came out with in the ebook. By the way, if you haven't yet, check out the ebook at bonimals.com. Uh, but we're gonna choose between. Let's see, what bonimal should I make first? By the way, if you don't know what bonimals are, I'll explain that in a second too, which will be nice. That would be nice. All right. Um, we got frogs. Of course, we could do a frog. Why not? Uh, and then after we choose this, you guys can help me choose the colors. 
mouse, pig, and bunny. I mean, it's Easter, so if you choose bunny, uh, I won't be very surprised. I mean, it is Easter, by the way. But yeah, we're going to be cr crocheting bonimals um, and just hanging out and making stuff together. <laughs> Cooper didn't even realize that it was Easter. <laughs> hey to the chat, by the way. So if you want to crochet along with me, all you need are... Boop. All you need is some yarn. Um, I'm gonna be using cotton worsted weight yarn. You're gonna need your main color and white. I actually forgot my white yarn. So I need to grab that in a second too because I'm a goof. Really, how did I forget my white yarn? Well, anyhow, you're gonna need white yarn and your main color, of course. Um, and then some of the patterns require just a third color, uh, that being for like the nose, or to make like nostrils for your pig and stuff like that. Those are the yarn you're gonna need. I'm using a size G four millimeter crochet hook. That's the size hook I, I always like to use. And a darning needle. I like using a crimped end darning needle like that. You also need some scissors, some stuffing, some eyes. If you wanna get a bo bottle, uh, bottle of eyes like this, they're in the shop. Um, I'm gonna be using eight millimeter eyes for this video. Let's get these a little bit scooted out of the way just a bit and uh what else oh yeah how you can support this channel if you'd like to oh johnny's w or <laughs> Janny's way ahead of us okay okay wait 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 hold on hold on first off i need to fix this because it keeps doing the focus thing that we don't want all right so if you'd like to help support this channel there's a few ways you can do so the first easy cheap way just like and subscribe doy um, if you like this video, last time we, I asked if we could get 500 likes, we'd do a giveaway, and you did. So this time, we're doing a giveaway, but also, if you get this to 550 likes, we'll do another giveaway next week. So, you know, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good reason to do so. Also, if you uh, want to help support monetarily, there's a few ways you can do that too. The first is you can purchase merch kits in the store. We got a bunch of stickers. We got pins, we got t-shirts, and then of course we got a bunch of different kits. In fact, we have a kit for the Bonimals here, and not only does it come with enough yarn to make four different Bonimals, but it also comes with a bunch of these mini magnets that we are gonna need for this pattern also, so that we can make the Bonimals magnetic and they can stack on top of each other. It's pretty cool. You should consider purchasing stuff. Also. Uh, if you want to help support monetarily, you can support with a membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the exclusive library patterns, which there's a lot of them, including the Bonimals. And uh, and uh, they can get monthly kits mailed to the door each month with whatever materials you need to make whatever we're making that next month. And next month's kit... All right, here's a preview, guys. Preview time. So next month's kit, we're doing five different kits and you get to choose between which of the kits you want to make not only that but uh each of the different kits are made by a different amy groomy artist and uh uh and each of the kits are for an endangered creature on planet earth and part of your support goes to the world wildlife fund to help protect those creatures in the wild let me give you an example of one well, I might give you an example of two, of two of the different kits that you could cho choose from. But again, there's going to be five of them, and I'm not going to share them all because of spoilers. But the first one I want to show you, this is from Drewby Zoo. Uh, that's the artist. He's actually, we've done work with him before. We did the strawberry kit with him, and he made for our, for our Earth Day crochet along. A dugong! Oh my gosh, look at how cute it is! It's so cute. I love this pattern. I think it's very, very cool. Look at how cool it is. It's very unique, also. Like, the construction of it. The tail, specifically, is like... I was like, whoa, I've never seen a tail made like that. So it's very cool. This is one of the kits that you're going to be able to choose from but at the end of the month. And I'll show you some other, some more of them a little bit later. But if you want to sign up for a monthly kit, now is the time. 
Uh, sign up now for the monthly kit, and part of your proceeds will go to the World Wildlife Fund at the end of the month. Uh, and we're going to be doing a huge crochet along thing. So every one of these patterns are going to come out every single week. And we're going to be doing a live crochet along for them every single week. So, uh, yeah, we got a lot of patterns and crochet alongs coming out very, very soon. So check that out. And I'll show you another one of our uh, options for the kits in a little bit. But I'm going to put this right here for right now. Um, and I'll bring that dugong. Well... We'll leave him there for just a bit. He's going to be replaced by some uh, some donations, though, because the other way you can support is with donations. If you see that little money icon, little ding, ding, boom, <laughs> you know how you pronounce money icons. If you see that in the chat, you can support with a super chat or you can support by tipping by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. And if you tip, or support or become a Club Crochet member. I'm gonna keep track of that. I actually gotta open that right now too. I will put out a crocheted gift. Oh, actually, we're gonna we're gonna do Bonimals again because they're the best and I love them. So yeah. Oh, and I gotta show you the thing we made last week too. Okay, cool. I got it open so now I can see if people turn sign up for memberships. By the way, last week, if you were here, we crocheted this. Our monomal. It is a creature that eats bonomals. Look at it, it's filled to the brim with bonomals. And uh, someone last week suggested that we give them little hands, and I thought that was a pretty good idea. So I gave them little hands, but I also added a magnet to the hands so that they can hold the bonomals. And he can take them and eat them, put them in the mouth. There's the eyes finished. Oh, I'm so proud of it. I love it. Uh, someone asked about the pattern for this. I'm going to get the pattern for this onto the website ASAP, meaning soon, soon, soon. So keep a lookout. The pattern for this will be out very soon. Uh, Monomal Power. You said it, Kelly. I agree. So, yeah, uh, this will be out soon. And, um, okay, so let's deal. Let's let's handle some of this tip stuff. First off, Janny uh, tipped for 20 bucks already. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Here's how we're gonna do this one today. We're gonna take the bonimals here. If you tip for five dollars or more, uh, I'll put them on my body, and we'll attach them to my body, and we'll see how many we can get attached to me at the end of the uh, live stream. And if you tip for less, that's okay too. That's no worries. I'll put them out on the screen for you. Uh, but if you tip for over for five dollars or more, you get to actually name it if you want. If it doesn't have a name, some of them already have names. Um, I have to pull up my name thing actually because I have a little sheet Cooper's helping me keep track of the names inventory nope nope that's that's not that's not right that's inventory we don't want to look at inventory Ugh. name our bottomless there we go oh wait no that's not that's not right either <laughs> that's from last week because we wanted to name our bottom aha there it is okay we got our names set up. I actually don't have the other names, but I do have two of them at least. Let's start with a bunny for Johnny because, I mean, doy, it's Easter. Or Janny, sorry. There's our bunny. You get to name this bunny. I don't think it has a name. Cooper, let me know. If I'm if I'm totally mistaken, please let me know. But I don't think this has a name. Janny, what would you like to name your bunny as we connect it to my body? This bunny to my buddy. Where should we connect it? Maybe I should wear a hat, and then you, and then we could connect it to my hat. Nah, that's then I gotta go in the other room and get a hat, and we know one more, so I don't want to do that. Let's just put, let's just put it right here, so we can be staring straight at the camera all live stream. Okay, there it is. There we go. All right, so we got one bunny. Next up, we got Tina. Tina, Tina, Bobina. My gosh. And Tina's was for, yeah, that's another, oh my gosh. Okay, so Tina, blue, blue frog. What do you want to name your blue frog, Tina? Thank you so much for your donation, by the way. We got Tina, blue frog. Um, let's see if we can, oh, Philbert, Janny. Janny says Philbert. Okay, so this bunny's name is Philbert. From now until eternity. 
Oh yes, and then the giveaway as I do this and connect a frog to my body for Tina. And then oh, we also have one from Cooper. Cooper? <laughs> Cooper, let, thank you so much for your donation, Cooper. Let's put out... Um, Cooper's already named a bunch of these, actually, too. Let's see, what was the one that you named? Um, oh, oh, yeah, Frank. Is that the name of the one that is yours, Cooper? The one with the, the weird eyes? Where is that one? This monomalt has just been chomping away. Well, I can't find it. Let's do the rhino. I don't think we even named this rhino. Cooper, here's your rhino. This rhino's for you. What would you like to name your rhino? I know the eyes are weird on this rhino. I kind of wish I made the eyes a lot smaller, but uh, I didn't, so that's just the way it's going to be. What would you like to name your rhino, Cooper? We're going to put it right here. And then let's talk about the, the donation, or the giveaway, too, while Cooper comes up with a good idea for a name. Under this frog under it i'm not going to show you under it because there is a bonimal it's one you haven't seen yet it's a creature that i created last night no one's seen it yet and i have got five hints for what is under this bonimal that throughout this live stream i will be giving you hints and you can guess what's under it the first person to guess wins a 20 dollars gift card to the store First person that guesses it right gets $20 to the store. The next 10 people that get it right get $3 to the store. So it's a pretty solid giveaway. Now, I did make this giveaway hard. I get, The hints are difficult. It is a hard, hard one. So there is your heads up. And uh, let's just... I think we should just get started with the hints, right? Oh, the hints aren't updating on my... Grr. Oh, wait, never mind. There it goes. It updated. Okay. Let's copy this hint in. If you want to guess what's in this, there is a link in the description, and it'll take you to a Google form. And on that Google form is where you can guess uh, what is in, what is under the uh, frog. Sorry, I'm, I'm all wibbly wobbly today. Let's do a, we need the top bar. Where's that? Where you can guess it. There it is. Okay. Bar, corner text. Okay. Boom. There we go. I love this song, by the way. This is from Mario Sunshine. All right. Hint number one already is up on the screen. There's going to be five hints total. And they're going to get more and more easy for you to guess. But honestly, these hints are tough. The animal that's under this is a very solitary animal. It does not like to be around anything else usually. Um, so it's a very solitary animal. And there's your first hint. And let's get crocheting. What are we making, by the way, guys? We're making a bunny. Of course we're making a bunny. Okay, and then the next thing I want you to, while I go get my white yarn, the next thing that I want you to do is let me know what color we should make our bunny. So we're gonna choose between, uh, what color for the bunny? Let's see, I mean, let's let's start with, we got pink, we can do blue, who doesn't like a blue bunny? Uh, yellow, of course, and let's do purple. Okay, and let me grab my white yarn real quick. I think it's right here. Maybe it's down here. Okay, I got, a, I got a little bit of it. It's just enough. That's all the yarn we need anyhow. All right, people are voting. People are voting. I'm going with... I'm going with that one. Okay, I'm just going to give it just a sec as that, as that warms up. Um, and uh, let's... Well, we can keep the dugong on screen. That's kind of fun. We can keep it there. How's everybody's Easter going, by the way? Hi, hello, everybody in the live stream. How are you? I'm going to drink some coffee as you guys vote for what color we should start with. Ooh, a platypus. That'd be a fun one to make. <clears throat> Chaos Cities, can we sell your stuff? Absolutely. If you want to crochet something using our patterns, 
you totally can sell them you just need to keep in the description or somewhere you know you need to let people know where you got the pattern so just put something on the description that says you know what uh i got the pattern from clubcrochet.com something like that all right it looks like pink's gonna take oh actually it's between pink and purple here's the pink and the purple i think we're gonna use is like a lavender purple because it's easter you know Pink or purple. Oh, purple's winning. I think purple's got this. Yeah, purple's got it. All right, purple. Look at that. We have just enough, I think. Actually, I think we got more than enough. I think we can make probably two with that, but we're not going to make two. All right, now I have to remember how to make this pattern. <laughs> just kidding. I know how to make it. Um, But, yeah, if you want to get this kit... uh. Oh, and, and the pattern, so they're all on bonimals.com. The pattern, you can find a link to it right here on screen. Sorry it took me 20 minutes to get started crocheting. That's that's way too long. I gotta speed these up next time. I'm sorry about that. Um, but yes, if you want to crochet along with me and find the crochet patterns, they're at bonimals.com. Uh, I'm gonna be updating it very soon with some additional bonimals, by the way. Um, I realized that I put my camera like right in front of where my hands are, so it's gonna be an interesting one. I'm gonna have to crochet without looking at it a lot, but that's okay. Cat F Crafts, how are you? How are you? How are you? Chocolate bunnies. You know what? Let's actually, I am gonna pull up this pattern so I don't have to think about it. If I can figure out how this works. There we go. No, that's the dugong pattern. There we go. I had the dugong pattern up because I just, um, because I just, uh, oh, cat. Okay, one second. Because I was just recording the dugong pattern, actually. Hold on. I need to get over to the bunny pattern. Uh, it's at the end of the book. There we go. Okay. Let me finish this, and then, <laughs> wait, hold on, and then we'll, we'll deal with Kat's donation. Thank you so much for your donation. You want a fox, huh? Now, here's the problem we got with that fox, is that I don't have a fox that can connect to my body, so we're going to have to figure this out, because you donated for $5 and requested the fox. Kat, did, did you give your fox a name? Dono. Is that the name of your fox? Do you want to name it Dono? That's a fun name. That's an interesting name. I like it. Here's here's Cat's fox. I think actually... Man, I, I swear... I thought I had another one of these somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Fox! I mean, that's kind of the thing. With, uh, with these, is they kind of disappear. Oh yeah, by the way, Tina, I, I saw I saw the name on the on the doc that that uh, Cooper's keeping track of. Tina named their uh, their blue frog Blue Moon right here. Johnny named her uh, her bunny Filbert. It's like kind of a pink orange bunny. And then uh, Cooper named his rhino Steven. This is Steven right there. And then we have this fox here. I'm going to put the fox on screen because it doesn't have a magnet. I need to remake it so it has a magnet. And Cat is naming their fox. What are you going to name your fox, Cat? You choose. You choose. Okay, we got this done. Oh, and Rebecca from Jim and Rebecca, they donated. Let's put out... I mean, that's a double whammy. Let's see. Let's put out... Put out something, something that's already got a name, because we got a lot of different things here. Um, ooh, perfect. I don't think it's this. I'm trying to find one with already. Aha, here we go. This is for you, Rebecca. Thank you for your donation. You and Jim get Chewy. Chewy our panda. Kind of like a panda dog, but 
still, our panda, Chewy, is gonna go right here. He's chewing his little boom, bamboo, boom boo. There we go, that gets a little bit more in focus. Okay, okay. All right, let's keep crocheting here. I gotta, I gotta end this poll too. Okay, let's keep crocheting, y'all. You're distracting, I swear, you're distracting. Emma's making a strawberry. Strop, a strawberry. All right. There's our jowls. So this is gonna go, this is gonna be for the face. Okay, part done. Next we'll do our teeth. You'll see how quick I can make these so fast now. I'm, I'm, I'm a speedy gonzales when it comes to making bonimals. Jim's favorite animal is a panda? That's awesome. <laughs> Janny, see, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I've been saying Janny's name wrong for a while now, and she finally corrected me, and I feel so bad. I'm so sorry. If I'm ever saying your name wrong, let me know, and I'm going to do my best. I'm just bad with names. I don't even remember my own name. Who am I? Who am I? There we go. These are the teeth. So we got the little nose. We got the teeth. We need... Stop throwing our yarn on the floor. Cooper's finishing up his monomal. The fox's name is Stuart. Okay, there's Stuart. Hello, Stuart. Hello, Stuart. How are you? I feel like that's how you're supposed to talk to Stuart. Oh, hello, Stuart. How are you? Words, man, words. One, two. Nine. No. Eight. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Skip two. Okay. There we go. Once we get it going, we're good. I am Lord. <laughs> Lord Louis of the Nine Realms of, of Louis. I don't know what I'm talking about. Who even knows what I'm talking about? The Bonimal Master. Abby! Okay, so Abby says that they bought the pro membership thinking that it was the Earth Day kit, but they I never asked which animal and then they got the Bonimals kit. What should I do? Well, if you, I mean, make the Bonimals kit if you want. Um, if you are still signed up, you're going to get, yeah. So, so last month's kit was the Bonimals kit, which came at the beginning of April. Um, next month's kit, which will be shipped out at the beginning of May, is going to be for our Earth Day uh, kit. Um, if you... Abby, if you really don't want that Bottomless kit, uh, and you'd rather have the Dinosaur one, you want to just, like, cancel your membership, um, I guess email me, and we can figure it out. Otherwise, if you want to keep the Bottomless kit, and you still want to be signed up for the, um, for the Earth Day one, then just stay signed up. You're going to get it, uh, you'll get an email near the end of the month asking which animal you want to make. Yeah, so uh, the email should go out in just a couple of weeks. But if you really don't want that Bonimals kit, then just email me and we can figure it out. Um, you can email us at contact at clubcrochet.com. Three, four, five, seven, eh. There we go. There we go. See, I can still crochet. So, who's guessed already? Let's see. Has anybody guessed the bond? Tried to guess already? Oh my gosh. Nine people already have tried to guess. Wow. What a... What a quick... You guys are fast. You guys are, you guys are brave. Brave people. They're like, solitary animal. Let's see. What animals are solitary? Oh, I know. 
I know. If you haven't guessed yet, well, that's okay. There's still there's still time to guess, I think. Unless someone got it right after guessing out of a solitary animal, which would be pretty amazing, no question. One, one hint, and they're like, oh, I know. But we will, we will find out. All right, we got our, we got all of our body parts done. Now we gotta just start. Now we just gotta start crocheting. Oh, we still got that guess up or the. What color to make? I gotta end that hole. There we go. Okay. Those are good guesses, actually. You know what? Those are pretty good guesses. Not gonna lie. I'm not telling. Not saying any of them are right. I'm just saying they're good guesses. Or at the very least, they're good ideas for Bonimals. I think we should give this purple bunny... Well, actually, it's already purple. That's pretty That's pretty original in and of itself. I think what I'm going to do with the Bonimals that we make today, by the way, um, I think I'm going to go over to a friend's house after this. who They have two kids, and we're going to hide the Bonimals that we make during this live stream at their house somewhere and do a little Easter hunt for Bonimals. <laughs> Bitten Cookie Studios, well, thank you so much for joining. We'll see you. Maybe we'll see you next week. Next week, we're going to be starting our Earth Day crochet long. It's going to be like a, um, a fundraiser event next weekend so if you want to join next sunday same time same place we'll see you there hopefully i got yarn all over me there we go we need to get our white yarn for our eyes what are bonimals great question star fellas or star falls so Bonimals are these little crocheted critters that uh, look like uh, they're, they're these little dudes. And what's really cool about them is that they all can stack on top of each other. Now, actually, this fox doesn't have the magnets in it to stack on top of each other, but these ones do. So let me, um, well, here, I'll just grab another one out of here and I'll show you. So they, they have magnets in them so they can stack. Put them on top of each other like that. And you can also like put them to your body and like have them pinned on you by putting another magnet under them. But yeah, we're gonna do a little bonimal hunt for these kids later. A bonimal hunt, hopefully. I did a bonimal hunt for my mom, but she found them. She found them way too quick. It's probably because my mom, my dad, and my brother ratted me out. They ratted me out. But I took a bunch of these bunny bonimals down south and gave them to my mom. Or hid them from my mom. One. And two. Yeah, and I think what's great about these uh, star falls, what, why I really like these bonimal patterns, is they're crazy quick to make I mean we're already like halfway done with this bunny they're a little bit complicated at least to make your like first one or two but then after that it gets a lot easier I think at least I think that's the case yes uh, Iris that is I will be so there's already a video tutorial for how to make the um, the pig, the bunny, the frog, and the mouse. But I am going to be doing additional video tutorials for additional Bonimals. So we're going to do a pug and an elephant and a, uh, a cow. I'm going to do, I'm basically just going to continuously be updating the PDF and notifying everybody that's purchased it or has a membership when there's a big update. 
So I'm going to do an update with like a bunch of additional bonimals that you can make and new features to make different kinds of creatures, stuff like that. But it will be out soon. Oh, yes, Muskin Mohammed uh, asked, do I have a video to show how to do the magic ring? Not only do I have a video that shows how to do a magic ring, I have a video that shows how to do a couple of different magic rings and the pros and cons to each. It's pretty detailed and I really like it. It's actually on this YouTube channel. So if you just go to my channel there uh, and search magic ring, you can probably, or magic loop, you can probably find it there. Um, you can also go to clubcrochet.com slash magic loop and you can find it there. And it should take you directly to the video tutorial. And there's a written instructions too. Mimi, do I put magnets on top and bottoms of the bottomals? Also, my sister's asking why they're called the bottomals. So for your first question, yes, we put magnets on the tops and the bottoms uh, of the bottomals. It depends on the bottomals. Sometimes if they have like really big, like, like for the bunnies, for example, I sometimes don't put them on the top. I only put them on the bottom because it's kind of hard to stack on top of them anyhow because they've got their ears in their way. Um, but I usually put them on the top and the bottom. And then their second question was, uh, why are they called the bottomals? They are called the bottomals for a few reasons. One, because you just can't help but go ball when you look at them. They're so cute. And then uh, two... You should watch our uh, release video for them. You can find it, actually, if you just go to thebottomals.com, it's, it's the video in the second section of that, of that website. Um, but in that video, I explain that uh, by combining yarn, magnets, and our special biometric augmented wibbly wobblies, or it's shortened for BA, um, which are, I can't, I can't release too much of our secret formula, but we do have a special technology uh, here at Club Crochet that we have found called Biometric Augmented Wibbly Wobblies. And they're very useful for making bonimals. Um, uh, however, it does help them to replicate very quickly. But that is why they're called bonimals. Uh, the Amaze Feed, am I going to come out with a pattern for the monster bag, a.k.a. the monimal? Yes, I will be. The tutorial for this will be coming out soon because it's just too cute not to. It's too cute not to. So yeah, I'll work on a tutorial for that soon. I think that's my next thing that I'll work on after I finish up all the patterns for our Earth Day Crochet Along. Um, there are five of these Earth Day Crochet Along patterns. So this week has, last week was extremely busy because I'm just like making five patterns in like two weeks. Um, but uh, this week will also be extremely busy because I have to do it again, is what I was gonna say. <laughs> I still, I'm not done with it. I've only finished the dugong, honestly. I still have all of, uh, I have the, um, well, all the other ones. I, I'll show you another one in just a bit. Actually, after I finish this bunny, I'll show you another bottom or another one of the earth day patterns well actually once i finish two bonimals i'll show you one of the earth day ones and then also i'll give you a hint after this bunny for what is under the frog i'll give you our second hint laura have i tried slash are you interested in tunisian crochet i have i used to do tunisian crochet all the time i've made a tunisian basket uh hat before um and i used to use tunisian crochet all the time to make uh to make iphone cases um so i really liked using the tunisian crochet when i made iphone cases uh that was back when the iphone didn't have like a rounded edge and they're actually coming back out with ones that don't have the rounded edge so it might actually work again um uh cooper you you can send me that if you want i think i have some of the pattern but uh yeah you can you can send me what you got i, I wouldn't mind that. that that wouldn't hurt um but yeah i used to make iphone cases with the tunisian crochet uh and i think i might have a tutorial out there still for that somewhere not on the club crochet website but um somewhere and the and yes and the harry potter pod people yes i know i know a lot of requests for that and i will work on that as well 
we just have a lot of different things we got to make in the meantime all right let's add some eyes but trust me the plants are there Ooh, a polar bear a polar bear oh, yeah those do seem like pretty solitary animals don't they uh, juice for a lover no not yet not yet but i do have a girlfriend she's a, i just heard her go i think she's going to take a shower she just hasn't proposed to me yet so <laughs> working on cleaning your yarn well, good luck good luck with that jelly boba Add in the eyes. Oh, look at that. That was a good that was a good prep for an eye. You know it's a good prep for an eye when you can actually like see straight through it. So it makes it really easy to just pop the eye in. A blobfish. Interesting. A tarsier. Let me look it up. Let me look up a tarsier. Oh, yes, yes, the tarsier, yes. It's like not a lemur, but it's like almost a lemur. Looks very lemur like with the big old eyes. That would be cute. I can totally make one of those. Ooh, we got more hint. We got more guesses. People are guessing. Okay, so we got our eyes on there. Next, we got to add our um, teeth, actually. So there's this very specific order of how I like to put these bunnies together. And it goes eyes, teeth, nose, ears. It's my order of operations here. One and two. Can't forget to make the tail after this. I always forget the tail in the beginning of my next row. Um, the next round is round seven, and in round seven is when you make the tail for the bunny. And for some reason, I always end up forgetting it. But look, this is how I add the teeth. Look, we add this weird little thing look how it sticks out there kind of looks like a little beak or something and then we fold it down a little bit and then we sew this one onto it like that it's pretty cool it's pretty cool by the way there is the video tutorial for this in the pattern as well as of course the written instructions and it comes with a real fancy ebook I'm really really proud of this book by the way I hope you guys like it. I spent a long time working on it. Probably too long. But I'll be coming out with additions to it pretty soon. I already have the the next bit like rough drafted. But I just don't I just haven't had the time to put into it yet. Did I have that right? Yeah. Okay. Double knot this. And we're gonna do pink, I think, for the nose. I think we're gonna do pink for the for the nose itself. There we go. Just a little bit. We don't need very much pink. Wow, this song's epic. 
feel like we're going into space. Anybody want to go to space with me? That's pretty good, right? See the nose? No feed. The pink's a little hard to see. Maybe I should have done something different, like a brown nose. But, whatever. We did what we did. How long will I be streaming for? Probably like three hours total. So we're at 45 minutes. Maybe a little less. Um, I think I'll make three, maybe four of these. Not all bunnies, but... We'll see. Something like that, though. I'll be on for a bit. And then we're also on every Sunday. Same time. So next week we're going to be making... Uh, I think we're going to be actually making the dugong next week. Sure thing. Hey, Daniel. Daniel Longo. What's your sister's name? Hello to you both. Which Bonimal is my favorite? Well, I can't say that in front of them. They're gonna get, they're gonna get self-conscious. That's mean. <laughs> have I ever knit? No, I haven't. I've actually have never knit before. Um, Jules, my girlfriend, knits all the time. But I am not as big into the knitting. I like making little animals and stuff. Which I guess you can do with knitting, but... But I'm pretty good with it. It's crocheting. I think if I did knit, I would make, um... Uh, I think I would make little crochet, or little knit goblins. Yareslu? Well, hello, Yareslu. I hope I said that. Yaresli? Yaresli. I hope I said that right. If I, if I butchered that, I'm sorry. Have I ever crocheted a duck? Of course. Of course we've crocheted ducks. Actually, um, I'm not sure where a duck is. He's, he's hiding around somewhere. But we have Monsieur Quack somewhere, which is a, which is a burb. Um, do you know what the burbs are? Bubble, bubble glove girl, you ever seen the burbs? There are secret agents disguised as different kinds of birds, and there's there's a duck one with a little um, beret that's really cute. It's really it's a good one. It's a good one. I mean, I think your strawberry will look fine without the yellow seeds, Emma. But I think adding the yellow seeds does add a lot to it. So. But the, also, the yellow seeds are pretty tough to add on, to be, to be fair. To be fair. All right, yes. One. And dos. All right. Main part of the bunny's done. Look at that. It's looking pretty good to me. Eyes a little bit weird down here, so let's go ahead. We'll just tweak it a little bit. Remember that. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, let's keep going. Is there an ostrich burb? No, there's not, Sarah, but there should be. Absolutely, there should be. I mean, we're going to get way back into the burb game pretty soon. Um, but we're on the we're on the bottom of the train right now. I'm sure the burbs are very jealous. They're like, I remember when it was all about us. <laughs> Thank you, Emma. I remembered. I got the tail. But I appreciate I appreciate you reminding me just in case. I do wish I didn't put this camera right in front of my hands, I'll tell you that much. I didn't think about it. I just didn't think about it. I mean, I guess it's pretty good, pretty good setup still. Okay, I 
that's our tail. Keep going. Put it right there. Can I crochet Sonic? I've actually tried to crochet Sonic before. That is really difficult um, because of all the, you know, pointy spikies and stuff. It's hard to make it look right. It always ends up coming out weird. Can I do a series of underwater animals? Just like I did Burbs and Bonimals. <laughs> you know, you know that's part of the plan. You know that's part of the plan, Fatima. You know it. Oh, a rooster like Foghorn Leghorn. I love it. <laughs> now, I, I sit, I sit, I sit. <laughs> I sit, I sit on you. Uh, <laughs> I love Foghorn Leghorn. I feel like not that many people are going to know who Foghorn Leghorn is, Tasha. I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's a that's a character that's just like going off into the into the ether just for us to remember. Have I ever made a Luna moth? I don't know. What's a Luna moth? I don't really know what that is, if I'm being honest. I'm guessing it's a kind of moth. But I should look into it. I don't know if I've ever tried to finger crochet, but I would I would give it a shot. Um, I think I've tried some, but I know you can, like making amigurumi a finger crochet would be tough. Um, I think I've done like I think I've done like the start of a blanket or something, and then I was like, okay, I get it. <laughs> and then I moved on. I think it's an interesting idea, but I just can't get into it for a long period of time, I think. <laughs> shh, shh, about Foghorn Leghorn. Shh. No, it's not disappearing. They're, everybody's going to remember Foghorn Leghorn. Hey, Lee, uh, where can you find the pattern? Right here. Go to Bonimals.com. That is where the pattern is going to be. Uh, it's available with either a membership or with a... Uh, you can purchase the pattern, of course, too. It's actually a full ebook, um, And it teaches you how to make a bunch of different kinds of bonimals. So it makes... Uh, you teach... You learn specifically how to make the pig, a bunny, a frog, and a mouse. And then it teaches a bunch of other body parts that you can use to mix and match and create a bunch of other kinds of creatures if you want so there's the instructions are there for making a pig and a cow um, however I'm still working on a video tutorial that specifically teaches how to make those animals so ah yes the old Looney Tunes the old Looney Tunes right yeah saw it through boomerang I remember boomerang I used to watch um, space ghost on boomerang and then and then when I grew up a little bit more I watched uh, Honestly, way too early. Like, I think I was way too young for this, but my mom let me watch Space Ghost Coast to Coast, which was, thinking back now, like, was not a show for kids. I mean, it wasn't necessarily, like, naughty or anything. It was just, like, I can't imagine I understood it very well when I was a kid. It's basically, Space Ghost is like a... It's like a, um... A talk show host. It's very. It's a very weird show. It's from Adult Swim. Space Ghost, coast to coast. Yes, spicy Skittles. It is. It's actually. Uh, it's actually a dugong, which is um, a very, very, very close relative to the manatee. It's. They look pretty much exactly the same, but this is a pattern from uh, from Drooby Zoo, and it's going to actually be out like next week as part of our. World Life, uh, World Wildlife Foundation Fund, or C Crochet for Earth Day, that's what we're calling it. It's a big event that we're putting on next week where um, you can learn how to make a bunch of different kinds of endangered creatures and uh, help support uh, endangered wildlife by crocheting it. Um, yeah, it's like, it's a big fundraiser that we're going to be doing. It'll be, uh, you'll learn all about it next Friday. Um, okay, we also need... Stuffing. We need to stuff this guy up. All right. Oh, hey, we got a new membership that I totally missed until right now. Um, 
<laughs> I'm so sorry, but Sky became a Club Crochet member? Was it Sky? No. Sorry, it's not Sky, is it? No, it's Liz. Liz! Thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. I'm sorry it took me until now to see that. Here. We're going to put out this for you, Liz. I think that our unicorn's name was Lucky. Can you remember, Cooper? What did we name our unicorn? I thought it was Lucky or something. This was a unicorn from our Bonimals crochet along from a couple of weeks ago here. We need to fix her beautiful rainbow mane and tail a little bit. I think her name was Lucky, but I can't totally remember. I feel like we should just like sew this down so that it stays. Stay. Or maybe we could just do this. Let's try something. I got these needle felt needles. Let's see if we can needle felt it in. Let's see. I don't know if this will work, but you know, it's worth a shot. Hold it down like that. And then I take this and I just go, we try not to accidentally stab ourselves. That would hurt very much. There we go. Look at that, it stayed down. Beautiful. What a beautiful girl. All right, we're going to put her right there. I think her name was Lucky, but I can't remember. If anybody remembers, let me know. Okay, back to our bunny. Louie, thank you. Can you show us how to do a mini bobble? I'm having a hard time with it. Thanks. Sure, no problem, Llama Plays. Let me get to uh, the next Bonimal, um, and I'll show you how to make it uh, then, because I'll have to make one anyhow. Um, but yeah, next, next Bonimal, I'll do, we'll do like the, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I will show you how to do that though. It is my specialty, I would say, our, our bobble stitches. If I was in a restaurant, th those would be the, <laughs> on, on almost every course, you get a side of mini bobble stitches. <laughs> I will, the Luna Moth, I will check it out. Thank you for the suggestion. Yeah, Muffin the Panda says, tried to make the Chubzilla, but I don't understand the increase and I can't find a proper video. We actually do have a video for it. Um, if you go to clubcrochet.com slash INC, that's the short for increase, um, there's a video tutorial that I made for it. But also, uh, an increase is pretty easy. It's just two single crochets uh, in the same exact stitch. It's really just, that's it. So if you know how to do a single crochet, just do it into the same stitch. Uh, do, do two into the same stitch and you can make it. Um, okay, we're adding magnets to our little character here, but I want to make sure that they can stack on top of each other. So usually what I do is I put it on another bonimal so I can make sure I know exactly how to stuff it in to our piece. It looks like it's going to be like that. Actually, do we want to add any stuffing? You know what? We might add some first. Hold on. Let's add just a little bit of stuffing first. Just a wee bit of stuffing. We don't need much though. That might've been too much. So I'm only putting a magnet on our bunny's bottom because I want it to, cause it's hard to stack them on their heads anyhow. And I want to uh, make it really strong so that we can hide it really, really well later because later I'm gonna hide it like under a, I don't know, under a table or something like upside down. If you haven't checked out my new video uh, for how to crochet the frog, um, I actually did come out with a free video tutorial for the frog. And in that video, I showed how to make the entire frog without using a darning needle at all. And I'm really proud of it. If you haven't checked it out yet, you totally should. It's a cool, it's a cool little trick I figured out and I like it. 
There we go. And there we go. We got our bunny done. Bunny numero uno dunno. Huh? Pretty good, right? Pretty good start. Here, let's get it closer and we'll fix the focus a little bit. Look at how cute he is. Oops. He's even got a little tail. He's got his magnet so we can stack. It's pretty great. Okay. Oh. There we go. All right. One bunny done. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Oh, wait. Next up. Next hint. Let's do another hint. I think it's time, right? Okay, so next hint. Our first hint, uh, by the way, if you are new and you don't know what we're doing here, we have a giveaway going on. All you have to do is guess, be the first one to guess what animal is under this frog. There's another bottomal that's perfectly under it. Um, and if you guess it right, if you are the first one to guess it right, you win $20 to the Club Crochet store. If you are within the top 10, you get $3 to the Club Crochet store. So it's still a winner regardless. Um, oh my gosh, a curious snail. Thank you for your support. Uh, let's put out your truffle for you. Hold on. Hold on. Quick aside. Quick aside. This is for a curious snail. Um, oh, whoa. They don't even... 30 jeez louise oh my gosh i thought it was only three. Oh, <laughs> well thank you wow uh you're amazing <laughs> oh my gosh um let's see let's do oh curious snail you have so many you know what let's just put out a bunch of curious snail ones okay hey do you remember a curious snail if you're in the chat you named a a mouse fifle but do you remember if it was, was it a brown mouse like this or was it the purple mouse? Cause I can't remember. But you did name, okay. So we're definitely gonna put up, your cow is gonna go, uh, so this is Curious Snail's named cow called, I think she just named it, oh, Truffle. This is Truffle. Oh, Curious Snail's brown cow. We're gonna put that right over here. And then we have Ellie. Ellie, our elephant. And we're gonna put Ellie. We're gonna put Ellie. We're gonna put Ellie right here. Johnny! Alright, good night, Johnny. Sorry, Janny. I'm so sorry. I'm getting it. I'm getting there. Um and can we call him Peeps? That's a good name for a bunny, I think. It's Peeps. It's a good name. Um, but Curious Snail, thank you so much for your donation. There you go. We got Ellie, and we've got Truffle. Uh, and then I'll put the mouse on if you can let me know which mouse was yours. I can't remember what color your mouse was. Um, last week you donated, and we had a mouse named Fifle, like Fifle Goes West. Fival. And I can't remember what his name was. Anyhow, let's do another guess for what is under this uh, frog here. So, again, first hint was... It is a solitary animal. Whatever's under here was a solitary animal. The second hint is, boom. They are very good swimmers. Very good swimmers. Whatever animal's under this is a good swimmer. So there's something you know. Solitary animal that is a very good swimmer. Guess now, I'm gonna put it, actually I'm gonna put it in the chat real quick. So you can guess. So I'll put the link really quick in the chat. Guess. There we go. Oopsies. Hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to fix something. Okay, so there you go. It's a good swimmer. It is a uh, solitary animal. Those are your hints. 
Guess now I'll forever hold on to something. Also, I'll tell you what. I'm not going to let you know in the chat. So don't even don't even ask me in the chat because I'm not going to let you know. The only place you can know is at the end of this live stream. I will show you what is under there. Or you can guess on the, uh, the form that I just put into the comments. You can guess there and then maybe win. Okay. So we made a bunny. Next up, we want to make a... See, what do we want to make, guys? What do we want to make, fellas? No, uh, Mimi Ben, you can guess one time. One guess per person. Oh, Curious Snail was the brown mouse. I knew it. Okay, so here's Fievel. Fievel's going west. I'm running out of magnets. Gotta grab more. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, I'm getting more magnets. There we go. Okay. Fievel is going west on... Right here on my shoulder. There we go. There's Fievel. Say hello. Okay, bye. <laughs> Um, all right, well, that's right. What are we making? Um, which Bonimal next? We're going to choose between... Let's go a little while. Let's go frog. Of course, we got frog. We've got a pig. And we've got a, a, a mouse. We can do a mouse. And then let's do... Let's add something weird in there. Let's do a beaver. Right? Yeah. There you go. Which Bonimal do you want me to make next? Answer now in the chat. I'm doing that one. And we'll see what you want. What you, what you, what you want, what you really, really want. Naughty Flowers wants me to make a dolphin. Dolphin. Yes, Mimi Ben. Uh, no, no worries. You can ask as many questions as you want. I'm not gonna answer them all, but I, you can ask as many as you want. Um, it's, Mimi Ben says, "Sorry, this seems like I can't stop asking questions, but how will we find out if we won? Is it via email? Yes, I will email you uh, a link, or I'll email you all the information of how you get like your gift card. I'll, I'll basically give you a gift card and you get it. So, yeah." But you get it. You get the gist. Claire, long time no see. How are you? Welcome. I've been very busy as well, so I totally feel that. Wow, everybody's voting beaver. All right, we're making a beaver. I think this probably will be enough brown yarn for a beaver. We're also going to need a dark brown. Which I... This is all the dark brown I have. So we don't have very much dark brown to use. And then we'll need white and um, do we need anything else? Let's look at our previous beaver that I've crocheted. We can use it as a as our example, which we're gonna need anyhow, cause we're gonna need to look at its tail. And then, oh, oh, we will, we'll need some of that beige too. Okay. So, let's see. Did. Okay, so it's Okay, got it. Alright, let's make a beaver. There's only one color for a beaver, right? So we don't need to I don't need to ask you what kind of color to make. Hold on, I gotta plug in my iPad or else the chat's gonna disappear from existence. There we go. Okay. All right, we're good. Um, all right, let's make a beaver. Beaver's actually pretty easy. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. It has almost all the all the instructions are actually in the ebook for how to make a beaver. Um, however, there's a few specialty things. 
Where do I buy the magnets for the bottom holes? Now, I buy them in bulk, so I buy, uh, I get them from like a wholesale website where they send me a lot of them. Um, but you can get them on Amazon and uh, I think you can get them on eBay. Um, they're called neodymium magnets. They're ultra super strong. Uh, and the specific size that I use is, uh, is 12 millimeters by two millimeters. So there's my information for you. Dude, Claire, thank you for doing that. Claire posted a Bonomo on her, their Instagram reel. I love that. If you haven't already, um, we have our little hashtag here where you can post a picture of your Bonomo with hashtag Bonomals and it will appear on the, it's also on the home page. How many do I get at once of those magnets? Uh, a lot, yeah. A lot. I think um, I think I usually get like a couple thousand when I order them. Dang it! I kind of messed this up, guys. I kind of messed it up. I tight it, tightened it too tight, too quick. I need to loosen it. I gotta fit a slip stitch in that stitch still. Yeah, I order thousands at a time. So I got a lot of these little magnets. I'm actually kind of surprised I haven't like broken my phone or anything <laughs> because I always have like strong magnets around them. But, I don't know. No problems yet. Okay, so if you are using the ebook and you would like to learn how to make this beaver, I will uh, give you a quick little tutorial. Um, not, I'm not going to show you actively how to crochet anything, but I will tell you. Actually, I might show you how to crochet the tail because that's not in the ebook. But other than the tail, um, it, we're using the jowls. Of the pattern we're using the buck teeth um, it's also they're also called the buck teeth in the ebook are also called the um, min, mini bump or something like that what's it called yeah mini bump so we're using the mini bump uh, we're gonna use the mini bump for both the teeth and the ears uh, we're using the jowls for the face and then we're gonna use something special for the tail, which I'll show you in just a second. And uh, the body is gonna be just the main body. So if you want to crochet a beaver, that is how you can do so. By the way, I need to close this vote. One ear. Yeah, the, the beaver's actually pretty easy all things considered uh, as long as you got the ebook and you know all the different instructions other than the tail um, I think it's pretty self-explanatory it's basically a lot like the bunny limit whoa what is what is that word limit to Kions? I don't know what that word means, JNF Productions, but. Oh, are you saying like, are there limits to the pattern? Okay, so there, yeah, there is like a base pattern for that I use for majority of the bonomals and I alter that base slightly based on different bonomals. So like, like you're saying, like if you're making a dragon, I'm gonna actually come out with a tutorial for a dragon, but there is a, uh, there are like different things. Not only do you, can you make like different wings and stuff that you could sew onto it, uh, but the everything that's sewn on is really low sew. That's what I call it. I, they're either no or low sew patterns. So it's very easy to sew on. They're almost like you just attach them rather than sewing them on. Um, that being said, uh, there are like alternations to the pattern. So like the dragon's gonna have like a lip that is gonna be very different. Uh, so yeah, there's gonna be different stuff like that. <laughs> Can we have a pug as the option for the next vote? Sure, I'll add the pug to the next vote. Okay, so if you're making the beaver really quick, I'm just, I'm kind of ad-libbing this pattern, but I'm pretty sure this is how it goes. Um, for the tail, uh, you're going to, and this will be in an ebook eventually. Like, I'll add this as one of the additions. We're gonna do a slip knot like that. And then uh, let's chain, I think it was chain six. Let's look at it on this one real quick. 
chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you want to use a dark brown for this or a black. Black will also work. And then into the chains, we're going to do, um, oh shoot, wait, let me do this again. You want this tail to be really long. Not like really, really long, but just like longer than that. So there we go. About that long for the tail, then chain six. And that's just because you're gonna need to sew it onto the body. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Uh, and then into these chains, we're gonna do a single crochet into, starting in the second chain from the hook. Each stitch is gonna get a different stitch. So, or each chain is gonna get a different stitch. So we got a single crochet in the first, and then we got half double crochets into the next three. So three half double crochets, one, two, three. And then into our last chain right here, we wanna do uh, four half double crochets into the last one. And that is gonna turn us around and we're gonna work back around the chain. So we got one, two, three, and four and see how it kind of naturally fl flips us over into a 180. And then we want to do three half double crochets to get back down into the same stitches on the opposite side. So we're gonna do half double crochet there. There's one. And I'm crocheting around our tail end as I work my way back down because we're gonna need it at the end for sewing it to the tail. There's one, two, and three half double crochets. And then into our last chain right here, still working around this tail, we want to do a single crochet. Now when I come out with this as part of the ebook, there will be a full video tutorial for it where I'll go into extreme detail about how I just did that. But if you just wanted a quick, quick one, there is your quick instructions for how to do it. I'm also going to cut off a little bit more of this brown because we're going to need it for the tooth in a sec. And then we're going to we're gonna get ourselves a little ahead of schedule here and actually clean up our yarn as we're going instead of being a messy boy. Okay, there's our tail. So we got our ears, we got our tail, we got our jowls, we got our extra yarn. We need to use our white, we need to make some teeth. Okay, Takoyaki, thanks for joining. I'll see you later. Oh, and I got to cancel this uh, that vote. There we go. All right. Some teeth. One, two. There we go. go boom okay there's our tooth all right now we can finally start working on the body and that I think is just gonna be our base body with I don't think there's gonna be too many alterations there hey Emma how are you <laughs> Liz or licks you're funny um mine's going Okay, I had a good, I had a, uh, I've had a busy week, but it's going all right. Ooh, Halio wants a cow. One, two, three, four, five, and six, right? Three, five, six. Hold it nice and tight. Let's keep going. Hey, if you haven't yet, make sure to like this video. If this video gets 550 likes, we're gonna do a second, another giveaway next live stream. So try to get it to that if you can. If you can, I dare, you know what? I double dog dare you. What? What are you gonna do about it? Look how much I can move without these bonimals moving off my body. I could go into a mosh pit right now and they'd stay on me. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Pretty awesome, not gonna lie. <laughs> All right. Um. 
Okay, next we're doing our eyeball. There we go. Diz Wolf and their niece want me to crochet a cow next. All right, so we got a cow. Someone wants a pug and someone wants a cow. So we'll add those to the votes for next time, along with our frog and our mouse and our pig. Actually, I think we might need to cut one of them. So we'll cut the, uh, we'll cut the mouse out because I only have one pig, but I have got like five different mice, mices. I really like to make mice though, because I like hiding them around my apartment building. I think it's funny because we used to have a, actually have a mouse problem. So I think it's funny to just have these like mice everywhere. And I tell my landlord like, uh oh, we have a mouse problem. And then she's like, what? And I send her a picture of one. <laughs> I think it's funny. A badger. Badger would be cool. I don't think I'm going to make any OG Bonhamals today. Like, I don't think I'm going to be inventing any on this live stream. Just because... I kind of want this one to be chill. We've had kind of like complicated designy ones for the past few live streams, so I kind of just want one where I know what I I know what to make. I don't got to think too much about it. So, I haven't made a badger yet, and I think there would go there would be a lot of effort into that <laughs> effort just because I'll need to do like color changes and stuff. So, I think uh but I'll keep badger in mind for the next Bonimals live stream when we do more improv Improv crochet. Improchet. In. In. Oh man, come on guys. We, we can totally come up with a word here. What's a good word for, for combining improv and crochet or stitches or stitching or yarn? In. Impro. Improv. In, improv. Improvisational, but yarn. I feel like we can come up with a really good name for that, and then we can make that a live stream. I don't know. If you got any ideas, let me know. Improvache. Yeah, that doesn't. Improche? Improche. I feel like it doesn't doesn't roll off the tongue as well. I I want something like let's see what other words other than improvisational can we use? Like design? No. On the spot? No. Off the stitch? Off the hook? Uh, maybe. Impro stitch. Off the hook's not a terrible idea, but it doesn't really exactly tell you what we're doing, you know? Imyarnable? That's kind of... I don't think that works. Blue shell. It's just hard to say. Off the hook, I think, is pretty good, though. Improvise sounds French. Yeah, it does. Crochet in general sounds French. Crochet. Let's fix this focus a little bit. There we go. Oh, trying my best, says Happy Easter, $20. I'm so sorry it took me so long to see it. Thank you so much. You actually get to name one. Okay, so we're gonna put out one and you get to name it. Actually, you know what? Well, you said Happy Easter. Let's do... Let's do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, trying my best. Thank you so much for your donation. Here's a red bunny for you. This is a brand new red bunny. Ain't never been seen before on the live stream. Not ever, not once. It's kind of like a pink red. 
It looks red, more red on the video, but it is kind of pink. What would you like to name it? You can name it whatever you want. And I am going to do this. I'm going to put this right. I kind of want to put it on my hair like this. There we go. I think that's worth a $20 donation. Hopefully it stays there. We'll see. It's not bad, actually. It's pretty good. Um, but yeah, let me know what you'd like to name your bunny that is currently on my on the top of my head. <laughs> I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It's pretty sturdy. Hi, Krios. How are you? It's a little wiggly. I can feel it wiggling a little bit. We might need to adjust it. But it's not bad, you know? I mean, come on. If this doesn't if this doesn't count for a like, like oof, what does, you know? Putting putting bunnies on my head? I feel like I feel like that's that's deserving of at least a like. It does feel like it's slipping off like very slowly, but I don't know. I don't know how that could be happening. So I think we're good. How am I? I'm okie dokie artichokey. I mean, it's Easter Sunday. That's a pretty good day. Test the bunny and nod my head then. Yes. Yes. It does move. But it's still on my head. It's still there. Just feels like it's slowly like coming further down. Might have just made it worse. Um, okay, let's add the face. Um, how many bottom wheels have I made? <sighs> hundreds. Act actually hundreds I've made. Um, and are all the videos available? Some of them are. Um, there are video tutorials for the uh, main or the first four bonimals, which are the bunny, the pig, the frog, and the mouse. Uh, and I'm working on video tutorials for additional ones like the elephant, the cow, um, probably this beaver will have its own, and the pug will have its own for sure. Lots of requests for the pug. There's the nose. I forgot we made it in beige. I was like, oh shoot, I forgot to make a nose. But I didn't though. But except I didn't though. How long have I been crocheting for? I've been crocheting for uh Probably 15 years, probably more than 15. Let's see, junior or sophomore year of high school. Graduated in 2010. That would be 2010, nine, eight. Probably 2008 is when I started crocheting. So that would be 2012. 14 years, Four, 14 or 15 years. I would say somewhere around there. <coughs> uh oh, I think my bunny's falling off. Well, maybe not. Actually, I don't know if he's moved. It just feels like, because it's at the edge of my head, it feels like it's gonna fall off. But if it does, it does. We'll put it, we'll figure it out. Hey, trying my best. You still here? What'd you name, did you name our bunny that's on my head? Not yet, not yet. She 
Or they didn't, I don't know. Do I do any other yarn crafts? Um, I have done like needle felting and I've done like, um, oh no, I forgot to add the eyes first. I usually add the eyes before I add all this base stuff. Oh well, I didn't. Um, I've done needle felting, I've done uh, embroidery. Uh, I've never really done knitting to be honest. Uh, crochet has taken up so much of my yarny time time that yeah eh. um i've done tunisian crochet and stuff like that though so the answer is yes kinda yes i'm but i'm i mean let's be honest i love to crochet crochet is my favorite for sure it's thready printing you kidding me it's awesome uh, thank you I have been doing it for long enough where I should be able to make it look easy at this point. The second clue is that they are very good swimmers. So the first clue was that they are um, very solitary animals. And then the second one was that they're good swimmers. And then there's going to be a third one in just a sec once I finish this beaver. Which are actually... We're pretty far along. It shouldn't be very long now. I'm going to make a little tuft of hair on the top of the head, though. Like, like that. I'm just going to go boop, 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 boop. There we go. And now let's add some eyes, because right now it looks like a demon. And we don't want a demon beaver. We want a regular beaver. Let's see. Do we get any new... No, no new memberships. That's all right. That's all right. One, two, and then we need these. But if you sign up for a membership before the end of the month, part of your donation will go to the World Wildlife Fund, and we're gonna be you're gonna be choosing one of five different kits that you can get. So that's a lot of kit options for you to make your choice for from. It's gonna be a pretty good one. Probably our biggest kit. At least so far this year. So you should sign up for the Pro Kit if you haven't already. There we go. One eye. Oh! This is trying the best. Your bunny's name should be Momji. Momji! Alright. This is Momji on my, on my forehead. Or my top of my head. Mom G. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining, Mimi. Mimi Ben. I appreciate you. Thank you for joining. Oh, no. A maze feed just ran out. Eight millimeter eyes. What are you going to do? Oh no, that's the worst when you run out of eyes and you're like, ah, oh! start panicking. I get that. I get that. Let's add these ears to our beaver's head. Wait, so that would be where the top ear would go, right? Yeah, so right here. Okay. One and two. This song is too chill, if you ask me. Let's get something a little bit more upbeat for us as we continue on crocheting. Yeah, we're on calm Nintendo music. Uh uh, we want happy and upbeat. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Dance, Mom G. OK, 
Okay, it's pulling my hair out. Hold on, we gotta fix this again. <laughs> okay. There we go. I fixed it. All right. Another ear over here. You know what say? Ear in Japanese? Mimi. See, I know some Japanese. I've been learning. I feel like this is from a Mario game. I don't know. How do I get the bottomals to stick to you? Uh, we use magnets. So they have magnets on the bottom of them. And then you just use another pair of magnets to go on uh, under, yeah, whatever. So for my hair right now, there's just a magnet under my hair. So it's pinning to my hair. There we go. There we go. There's our beaver. Look at that. That's I mean, that's coming together, right? I would I would say so. I would say I would say so. Yes. Hello Tassilarian, welcome. Long time no see. How you been? What you been up to? What you been up to? How's your Easter going? How's your Easter? How's your Easter? One. What's my favorite animal that I've crocheted? Um, you know what? I'll show you after this beaver because it's not a bonimal. I mean, I I think I love I love making bonimals, but I'll show you my my Earth Day crochet along pattern after this. Uh, I'll give you a little preview. Because I'm really, really proud of it. I don't know if it's my favorite or not, but it's one of my favorites that I've ever made. And I'll explain all that stuff later in just a sec. Let me, um, actually, let me finish this round. And then let's do another hint for what's under our frog. And then we'll finish the bottom all up. And I'll show you my Earth Day crochet along pattern. And then we'll, uh... We'll keep on keeping on. One, two, three, four. There we go. The legs for Bonimals can be a little tough. I'm not gonna lie. That's our round seven. It's infamous, infamous round seven. Probably the most frustrating round of them all. Hey, Dad. My dad's in the live stream. He's Bobby. Bobby 4M Metalworks. That's my pops. Hola, papa. Happy Easter. Uh, okay. All right, that round's done. Let's do another hint about what's under this here bonimal. So our hints so far, I mean, are under this guy here. So you have to guess what animal is under this frog. And our hints so far have been, oopsies, have been that it is a very solitary animal. It's a very good swimmer. Third hint is, wait. Third hint, and I told you this this time. I I ain't messing around with you guys. You guys guess it way too quick normally, so I'm I'm getting a little crazy with them. Third hint is that it's got a huge appetite. Huge appetite. What animal is solitary, a good swimmer, and has a really big appetite? 
guess now. I'll put it in the chat again. Again, if you're the first one to get it right, you win $20 gift card. If you are within the top 10, you still get a $3 gift card. So there you go. Let's see, how many guesses have we gotten? Ooh, pretty good amount. Let's see, wait, 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 wait. All right, interesting. Wow, interesting suggestions there. Okay. Wow, a lot of people guessing that. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. I'm excited to tell you guys. Uh, I'm excited to show you guys eventually. All right, let's keep going. Ooh, a hippopotamus. Oh, that would be a pretty good one, wouldn't it, Dad? You think I'm that easy, though. You think it's going to be a hippo? No, it's definitely not a hippo. All right, let's keep crocheting. No more hints. We'll give you more hints later. We're making, we're crochet, we're trying to crochet a beaver here. you. Jun Wang thinks that they got it right. We will see. We will see. All right, so this beaver got a pretty flat top of the head, so we're gonna add magnets to the top of our beaver's head, even though we didn't for our bunny. So we just need to make sure that the polarity of this magnet is the right direction, so. It is not, it's the wrong way. Flip it over. There we go. Yeah. go. Let's keep it attached like that. Keep our bunny there. And let's stuff it a little bit. Oh, and we got to add the tail. Doi. The doi. Almost forgot. I love hippos too. They're cute. The whole gang. You're there with a gang right now, dad? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My dad's in a gang. What do I do? <laughs> All right, now I'm going to sew this tail on. We're going to go... I like to sew the tail on like a little bit crooked so you can see it from the front, you know? Ooh. I love I love everybody's uh, guessing what's what bottomal it is. I love it. It's fun. It's fun. It's fun. All right. Sewing on a beaver tile. Oh, we got to do a hint or a get a this. I need your suggestions for next our next uh, bottomal today too. But I'll get that up in just a second. All right, tail sewn on. I wonder what game this is from. Sounds like Mario Party or something. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh, so Julia's there and... Hello, Adam and James and Julia and Carl and Mom and Dad and Taylor and... My whole family, they're all doing Easter without me. I should have gave you some of those bunnies to hide at. Hide at, uh. Julia's place. That would have been clever. Dang it. 
Dang it, why didn't I think about that sooner? Oh, Kelly says, is it an animal I've made before? No, it is the first time I've ever made this animal. In here, I mean. Uh, I, I have made this beaver once before. But the, the one that's under the frog there is its own thing. I didn't miss anything, did I? No, okay, good. Okay, there we go. Cut it. Pull through. Let's stuff it up a little bit. And then we can add the other magnets to the bottom. Ooh, then your animal could be right. Kelly, Kelly thinks they're correct. Yes, Naughty Flowers, I owe you an email really bad, actually. I'm so sorry, I've been not emailing you I will ref I will get back to you ASAP after this live stream oh the Jules isn't here she just went to an Easter party that I'm going to after the live stream uh the cats, I will remind me to let the cats in to say hi to you at the end, Tina. And I'll, I'll get the cats in to say hello. Right, last bit. Right, this way. Yes, and this way. Perfect. Now so close. Now we just, now we just show it closed, yes. All right. Wait. Wait. One more, two more stitches. Oh, lost it on the needle. There's a chance you're right. Pull it closed. There we go. All right. Beaver's done. What do we think? That's pretty good. Not bad, if you ask me. I like that the tail goes to the side. Pretty good. We got a beaver. We got a bunny. All right, next up. Let's do, let's ask you, let's see, what Bonimal next? I think we got enough time for maybe one more, maybe two if we're, if we're lucky. Let's see, we got a um, frog, pig, cow, pug. Boom. All right. Questions asked in the in the channel or in the chat. Let me know which one to make next. And while you're voting on that, let's let me show you another one of our Earth Day crochet long patterns. So again, next month at the, at the end of this month, we're doing a. Where's mine? Oh, there it is. We're doing a World Wildlife Fund uh, kit. So you get to choose between five different kits designed by five different amigurumi artists. Um, I'm not gonna show you all five in this video, but I will show you a few of them. So the first one that I showed you in the beginning here was this dugong that's made by um, Druby Zoo, which is so cute. I really like this pattern. I'm really excited to share it with you guys. This one should be coming out next Friday. And then 
my pattern from the from it is going to be hold on I need to find a needle for him so they can stand up right there we go okay so this one is my pattern for the for the crochet along um, I just had to put a needle in the back of it so that it stands up better because I'm still working on that but this is mine. I, it still needs a little bit. This is like the rough draft version. Uh, but this is called a snowy plover. It's actually an endangered creature that is right on our beach. So it's right outside our my window right now. There's a bunch of these. Um, well, there's as many as there are uh, snowy plovers. They're basically like little, um, little tiny uh, birds that run around like and they eat, um, they eat little crabs. They're so cute. Oh my God. I mean, look at how cute this is. It's probably one of my favorite uh, animals that I've ever made. And uh, yeah, so this is gonna be one of the kits that is gonna be one of the options for next month's crochet along uh, or, or kit. So sign up for Pro Kits now if you haven't already. Uh, and what's great about this kit is of course, it's a burb. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Are you kidding me? If I'm gonna make a bird, I'm gonna make a burb. Doi. So this is next month's pattern, uh, one of next month's Earth Day patterns. So sign up now if you haven't already for a pro kit so you can get to choose between five kits. It can be this one, it can be the dugong. This one's obviously gonna teach you how to make these cute little toes and beak and stuff for your burbs. Uh, and I'm probably gonna come out simultaneously with a hummingbird pattern, which is gonna be very similar to this. Um, so yes, go check it out now. Uh, and we're gonna leave our little snowy clover out right. Do it right here. That's pretty good. I like that. I like it. Let's go ahead and fix our focus a little bit because we're out of focus. All right. So there we go. We got our burbs. We got our dugong. Uh, and have you guys voted? Have you guys voted yet? Jeez Louise. Let's see. Oh, did I vote? I did vote. Oh, wow. Like half of everybody's pretty much saying make a cow. All right, we'll make a cow. Okay, jeez, you don't need to bully me. Gosh. <laughs> All right, we're going to need our off-white. We're going to need our black yarn. We're going to need pink yarn. We have pink. Uh, and let's see. I think that's it. And also, I'm gonna pull out my cow just so I have it for reference as we crochet it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try to do the color changes very similar because the cow pattern can be a little tough. So I'm gonna like, not take my time necessarily, but you know, there's just a lot that goes into this. So I just need to think about it a little bit I'm gonna try to do very similar color changes, but not exactly the same. But to do that, we are gonna make two ears. We're gonna start by making two ears. Spicy Skittles, how long do you have to sign up for the kits? Um, you just have until the end of the month. So until um, May 1st. May 1st is when uh, the kits are gonna be shipped out. So you need to just sign up before then. Um, the earlier you sign up, the longer of a chance you're going to have to actually choose which animal you want to make. So, sooner rather than later, probably. Um, if this is your first kit, uh, your first sign time signing up for a pro kit, it's only $15. Uh, so, yeah, it's a, I think it's a pretty good deal. I think it's a pretty good deal. And it helps support this channel, of course, which is also nice. All right, so we got one ear. That's gonna be one of our ears there. We need, I'll hold on to this yarn here. We need our pink yarn. We need to make it nose, and then we'll make our second ear. Oh, we can stop the vote. We can end the vote. Yes. Wow, Pug was pretty close though. Hey, trying my best. You became a Club Crochet member. Thank you so much. 
Hold on, I'll put something, another thing out for you trying my best. Even though you've actually covered my body with, uh, with Amiguru, or with Bonimals already. I'll put something else out to say thank you for, uh, thank you for becoming a Club Crochet member. Alright, so I'm making the nose for our cow now. Pretty much already done with that. We got an ear, we got our nose. That's pretty good. Bop. Now the cow can be a little tricky because of the color changes. Obviously it's easier to do if you're not gonna do color changes for the spots and stuff, but we are gonna do color changes because we're wild and crazy kids that can't be told what to do. Anarchy! Anarchy, I'm crocheting cows. Anarchy. <laughs> do we ship to the UK? We absolutely do ship to the UK. Um, is the answer a pangolin? I'll tell you what. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> you think I'm going to tell you? I ain't going to tell you. No way. I'll tell you at the end. You can find out at the end. There we go. How long did it take you to make the bunny bonimal? I would say maybe like 20 minutes, probably, in this video. Probably 20 minutes. Maybe half an hour. They're pretty quick. I mean, there's only so many stitches that go into it, so. Boop, and then pull it tight. Um, next, we need to make horns. <laughs> Happy birthday, Krios. Happy birthday. Um, I think it's just two, actually. So now I'm making little tiny horns, very tiny horns. These are the same horns I use for like the Triceratops, by the way. You might recognize them. Itty bitty horns. Nice and easy. Save the white yarn. We'll need it for the eyes. But I think that's all the body parts we need. Nose, eyes, horns, ears. Um, okay. Now... Cool. Let's keep going. We're gonna need this off white. And we're gonna need the black yarn too. Actually, actually, we need to clean up our floor station here. Hold on. I need to do a little cleanup action. You can see the bunny. Hello! <laughs> brown yarn. Look how much brown yarn we had. This is all the brown yarn that we had after making that beaver, by the way. Played a, we're playing a close, close call. 
playing it close. Um, all right, so we got our off-white, which we need for the main color for our guys. We got our black yarn. All right, we're good. We're good. I'm just going to keep the black yarn over my shoulder like this. How long did it take for me to create the uh, patterns for all these bonimals, and when did you have the idea for them? I uh, started designing these bonimals probably like at least six months ago, um, maybe even a year ago. Uh, a lot, it's been a while, um, and it took me... I would say it took me about that, that long of just continuously making them over and over until I had like the pattern perfected. So there was a lot of iterations that went into the pattern. Um, there were things like, uh, oh shoot, I forgot to put out. Okay, wait, hold on, I'll, let me finish talking there. Um, there were things like uh, I, I wanted to like move the eyes slightly and the legs had to be perfect. So there's a lot of iterations that went into it and then like different body parts, trying to figure out how to make those, doing, uh, prepping a whole video tutorial because it's like a four, three or four hour video. So it was a long video. Um, and then the PDF took forever. I did that like, it, it took me a really long time. So it took a while, it took a while. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, it took a while. And I just wanted to make sure it was perfect before I came out with it because once you come out with the tutorial, it's hard to make any changes. So I wanted to make sure it was perfect before I released it, you know? Um, okay, next is we're gonna do a color change here. It's gonna be the start of our, of our cow. One here. And then, you know what, let's do two of those in a row that and then we'll go into the next stitch here and then we need our white yarn for the eye See, so I'm, I'm pretty much shoving as much design as I can into this little tiny pattern like that pull that a little tighter pull this a little tighter and um We'll, there we go, make the eye, okay. One, two, three. Whew, we're crocheting tight here, guys. And I think I could just, I don't think we need to use this black yarn until we come back around to the end of the round. So, um, I'll cut it. There we go. Okay, now that I'm there, let's, uh, I, there's a few things here. First off, we got a new member. Um, we got two new members. First off, Tryon became a Club Crochet member. Thank you for so, thank you so much, Tryon. Let's do, let's see, what have we got in here? Is there, was there another one that try and supported? Let's see. Uh, oh, the yellow bunny was trying my best. Chester, the yellow bunny. Wait, do I already have Chester on me? No, where's Chester? There's Chester. Try my best, thank you so much for becoming a Club Crochet member. We're gonna go put it right there. Trying my best club crochet membership, and then Ozzy became a club crochet member too. Right? Did I get that right? Yes, Ozzy. I think. Let you know what? Let me make sure. Yes, Ozzy. Thank you so much, Ozzy, for becoming a club crochet member. Let's put out. Let's put out this. Let's put out our uh, our cute little um, frog with. Uh, with a bow. I think his name is Bonita. Yeah, I think his name is Bonita. It's not on the list, but I remember it from before. So this is Bonita. I don't remember who donated for it, but uh, yeah, this is this is for you, Ozzy. Thank you for becoming a Club Crochet member. I don't remember who named it, but it's 
name is Bonita. Stay there on top of Chewy. Thank you. And this guy too. Okay. Back to it. Back to it. Get back to like. Let that white yarn float. Then change over to white. See, I used off-white so you can still see the white there. Actually, the the lighting is like crazy, isn't it? You can't you can barely see it. Hold on. There we go. Fix the lighting a little bit so it's a little darker so you can see it. Bonita is from Tishy. Thank you for thank you for reminding me, Cooper. I appreciate you. Okay, that's all the white yarn we need. We can just continue on with off-white. We should have made a pink, we should have made a pink cow. Like a chocolate, or strawberry milk cow. Oh well. We goofed up. And you know what? Sometimes that happens. It'll be fine. I'll forgive you eventually. <sighs> eventually, I guess. Llama! Yes, I totally should make llamas. Especially because it'd be funny to make like really big necks. You know? Uh, same thing as a, as a giraffe. I really want to make a giraffe, but I just haven't had the time yet. Maybe that will end up. There we go. Alright, next is the next round, and. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm just thinking here. Okay. Next round. Where's our black yarn? Let it fall to the ground like a real goofer. How do I pronounce the name of which one? Mais vous les plus sincere at Creos. I know what that says. <laughs> you like the unicorn tessellarian? Thank you. We're gonna be doing a big unicorn pattern for uh, June, so keep a lookout for that. We're doing a giant unicorn. And then, do I want it to be a half color change there at the end? The hard thing with doing color changes with black and white is that you really want to be careful because your colors will like the white and the black will bleed through each other so you got to like really let yarn float around and it can get a little complicated is all i'm saying but it's not too bad three and then we want it actually i need a Fix that focus just a little. Oh, an axolotl. That's right, Creos. Yes, I got to work on one of those too. I actually totally forgot. But you're right. I actually do. I really want to work on one of those. And then it's white. Okay. Hmm. go just one little stitch there and black 
Shoot, I don't need to cut it. I'm coming back around to it anyhow. Okay, and then over here we want to do Oh, actually, this stitch we want to do a half ply. We're, we're doing some complicated footwork here. We want to do a half color change here. And then back over that. And actually, we can do a whole white one the next stitch. Right here, actually. And then, and then half color change the other half got it okay cool we're figuring it out oh wait wait no actually i did that wrong hold on i'm doing i'm doing complicated equations in my brain not really. I'm just, uh, I'm just, I just don't have enough coffee. That's, that, that, that's what's wrong. <laughs> One, there we go. And then this will be the increase. Do I want the second stitch of my increase to be half color change? Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> okay. All right. Right there. Then, like this. And we'll move that white or the black over, push it here. And then we want color changes here with this bot. Okay, thanks for joining, Krios. Au revoir. Merci beaucoup. How do I pronounce the name of the one that I'm making? Well, we don't have a name for it. A cow? We will need we'll need to give it a name. What kind of yarn do I use and where do I get it? So I buy my yarn again at wholesale because uh, we do kits with it. Um, and I switch it up like I Basically, I like to use a cotton worsted weight yarn, uh, just a bunch of different, there's a lot of different kinds of cotton worsted weight yarn out there. Um, but I really like using ones like, um, there's Lion Brand's got a 100% cotton that I like, uh, and Lily Sugar and Cream has a good one. Uh, yeah, those are the main ones that I use. But I do switch it up every now and then, so. I, it's basically based on the the color that I need, usually. And then one, two here, and then back to this. Because we're doing a little dot on the back. Like this. And then back over. And I haven't missed any increases, have I? No, I can't believe that. That's crazy to me. here and then half color changes we're done with this spot huzzah <laughs> and this can just be a regular increase because we don't need to worry about it because we're going to crochet around it perfect perfect see we got a spot we got a spot we got a start of a spot a lot of spots Lily Fluff Kitten, is that a walrus in the back? No, it's actually a dugong uh, or, or a manatee. Um, but it's it's designed to be a dugong, but manatees and dugongs are very close together. Uh, and it does kind of look... It does kind of look like a, um, a walrus a little bit. I could see that. I could see that. Spicy Skittles became a pro member. Oh, my God.
my god. Well, thank you so much, Spicy Skittles. I don't know what your pro membership name is there, but I believe you. I trust you. Let's put out something for you. And let's see. Let's put out something cool for, for them. You get to name it, actually. So spi nine Spicy Skittles. Nine of them. Let's see. What do we want to name? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do... This pug's got a name, but this one doesn't. Let's name this pug. So nine spicy Skittles, you get to name this pug, uh, which is a pretty big opportunity, okay? So don't mess this up. <laughs> Your pug is this one with the tongue out. So that uh, Cooper, when you put this into the document, call it tongue pug. And you get to name it spicy Skittles. That's a big Better, you better name. You better do a good name there. I want. I want a good name for this goofy looking pug. And we'll put it up. Actually, we'll wait till you name it, and then I'm gonna. And then I'll attach it to my body for you. So whatever, whatever name you want. Beaver Billy. We can name this Beaver Billy. This is Billy the Beaver. I like that. Hello, Beaver Billy. All right, we are continuing along here. And I think for this part of the color changes, I wanna do, there's three half color changes. And then the next round, I gotta remember to do the utter in the next round. It's utterly impossible to remember though. <laughs> the dugong yeah thanks uh so vic uh Vif, that dugong is part of our um our earth day crochet along the pattern for that's actually going to be out next friday so if you haven't yet you know well i mean i'm pretty sure you're subscribed but if you're not go subscribe Hit the bell icon so you don't miss it when we come out with new videos. Oh, and then obviously, like this video if you haven't yet. It's an easy, cheap way to support the channel. And if this video gets over 550 likes, we'll do another giveaway next week. I think that's a pretty good incentive. All you gotta do is free. It's free. It's completely free to like the video. One, two, and then we'll do three here. But this actually needs to be an increase, so we'll do that cool uh no we don't need to cut the yarn actually because we're just gonna have it flow and we got to remember to do the udder in this next round don't forget don't forget it's a hard that's a hard one to remember though two So we'll go, we're going to do half color changes here. Is one of the Earth Day patterns a wolf of some kind? No, actually, no one did a gray wolf or anything like that. Um, I actually don't know if wolves are, I don't know if gray wolves are still endangered. Um, the, the criteria for choosing what animal that, uh, each artist wanted to make was that it had to be a creature that is currently endangered. Um, so that is that's the only rule it had and i don't know if gray wolves are endangered or not i mean honestly i wouldn't be that shocked by it because humans but i'm not sure okay i think we are good with black until we get to the next round for a foot so we can cut the yarn and untangle it, which is pretty nice, actually. Okay, so it's pretty tangled up here. Not gonna lie, pretty tangly. All right, we'll come back to that black yarn in just a sec, uh, but we need to finish up this round and we need to remember to do an udder gonna be like one we'll be here and then boom 
and then this will be like two, and then there's one single crochet, and then an udder. Boom! Look at me, I can do brain stuff. I still got a brain. Yeah, because humans, sad but true. Yep, exactly. Oh wait, this looks like it isn't in the right space. Did I mess up somewhere? Or is it just gonna be off center slightly? Eh, actually, We'll do the udder in the next round so that it's more centered. Well, let me actually, let me look at it. Where's Truffle? Here's Truffle. Hold on, I gotta take Truffle off of me just for a sec so I can see something on him. Cause I didn't udder in on this one. And I think it looks pretty good there. Right? Yeah, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna, we're gonna use the Truffle method. Do the Truffle Shuffle. Even though it looks a little off center, we're just gonna give it a shot and uh, hope that truffle was truffles made correctly. That does look a little off center, but eh, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm overthinking things. That's all the pink yarn we needed. And two, what time is it? 2.30, okay. We're all right. One, two, this is the last stitch, okay. All right, next we need to make the face, which means we need to sew a bunch of things on but we gotta do the eyes first. So where did I put my eight millimeter eyes? Right here. <laughs> thank, thank you. All right, one, two, three, and then that one. I started in high school, sophomore year of high school. A scarecrow cue, what? <laughs> Moo hoo, that's not a bad name. That's a pretty good name, actually. I like that. All right. Adding the eyes first. We're going to go right here. Like that. I'm just going to go ahead and connect it. Trust myself. Trusting myself. One eye. Second eye is gonna go right here. Oh, that. Pretty good. And then white yarn over. I, I think I'm gonna pull the white yarn off the top to make another tuft like we did on the beaver, even though you can't really see it on the beaver. So we're gonna leave it a little longer than we did for the beaver so it doesn't like mess up too much. We want this at the very tippity top. Like that. Pull it nice and tight. And then this can be cut and we're gonna leave it pretty long this time. We can cut it shorter. After that, it looks kind of funny, like he's got a little alfalfa thing going on. Um, okay, so we got our eyes, we got uh, the little tuft on the top. Next, we want to do um, nose or ears. Let's do ears, and then we'll come to the nose after that. Both of these ends. Like that. I like to thread them both on the needle. Sew them on. I got a very special way to add these ears. So we're gonna go a little low, so like right there. 
I think this song is from Mario Kart. Does anybody know? Oh, I hear Jimbo. Jimbo is is awake. He's stirred. The beast. The beast is awake. doesn't want to come pop through there. There we go. And then we can go out tangling our yarn too much here. Oh no, I went through that. No, 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 no. Undo that. Thank you. Let's try that again. that then we pull it enough so that the knot pokes through maybe there we go and then we pull this tight enough like that killer whale oh thank you for the letting me know about the donation i appreciate that one second i appreciate it i was in the zone here i need to turn up the noise for that i don't know how it works so I will I'll try to fix that. Like that. And then we pull through there. And then we pull this part. Like that. We can double knot these ears. Whew, that ear was. That ear was fighting me. But I won. In the end, I win. Mr. What did some boo boo moo? One ear sewn on. I'm gonna do one on the other side, but we have a donation. Thank you so much to Johnny. Thank you for your donation. And it's enough to name an animal, actually. So let's name Mint Easter. You get to name. Do we have we named the purple bunny? No. Oh yes, no. Cooper has. Never mind. Never mind. Do we name? A blue bunny yet? Aha! No blue bunny's been named. Huzzah! All right. Huzzah! What a nerd. All right. Uh, <laughs> uh, Johnny Osh. Blue bunny for Johnny Osh. Johnny, what would you like to name your blue bunny? Johnny, what would you like to name your blue bunny? And then Spicy Skittles still has to name their pug. So we'll put the pug here. Waiting for Spicy Skittles to name it. And then the blue bunny we'll put right here. Name your blue bunny. Jun Yosh. Jun oh, Jun Yosh, but it's like Jun, Jun Yosh. Um, all right. Uh, we need to keep sewing on. Doi. Oh, you want to know if it's a koala under that frog? Wow. Well, um, I, uh, you know where you can guess? <laughs> in the Google form. It's in the description. And then I'll show you. Oh, I'll show you at the end of this live stream. You got to wait. But hey, if you're the first one to get it right, you'll win. I'll give you another hint after I finish doing the face of this cow. How about that? So we only have a couple more. And the last bonimal that we're gonna make, I think, I think we're just gonna make a frog for the last one. Since we're coming up on our time anyhow. And uh, I have an Easter party that I'm supposed to get to. And I would love to bring these to an Easter party. Gah, there we go. See, so we did a black ear and a white ear. And I did the spot so that the black ear would be sewn on in the black. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. Oh, the tongue pig's name is Nugget. Oh, that's a great name. That's a great name. I love Nugget. Was that spicy 
Named Nugget. Great. All right, hold on. I'll put Nugget on me in a second. Little Nugget. Nugget's adorable. He does look like a little Nugget, too. All right, Nugget. Enjoy being with all these other Bonimals on right here. There we go. Nugget, it has a little home. And then we still need a name for our blue bunny. Come up with a name whenever you can, no rush. Um, oh wait, we need to sew on a few more things still. We need to sew on the nose and the horns. Actually, let's start with the horns. So that'll be a little bit easier. Because I want them to be like that. Or do we want them to be like that? No, we want them to be back, facing backwards. And then we're going to do another hint after we finish this, adding the face here. I'm saying it so I can remind myself so I don't forget. Okay, next horn on the other side. Ooh, this ear this ear decided that it wants to be a weirdo, so we're gonna try to stuff that knot back in there. And we might need to do some fancy footwork over there. San fancy hook work. <laughs> Jimbo Jimbo is is required is formally requesting to be let into the room. One second, Jimbo. We'll let you in. <gasps> Oopsies. Let's try that again. Pulled too tight. I don't know my own strength. Ah. And then finally, sewing on the news. Nose actually not too crazy to sew on though. You just go in and then out. And then out and in. Right, there's one nostril sewn on. His hair tuft is getting in the wrong way. There we go. Wait, and then up. In. And then let's look at it. Hey, that's pretty good. Not bad. We definitely have a cow. See the little horns there on the back? A cow is coming together today. Whoa, a little 
Were the were the bunnies also rollerblading, Cooper? You rollerblade? That's dope. That's super cool. I want to rollerblade. I should rollerblade. I used to skateboard a lot. But I fell really hard once and I hurt my hand. And ever since then, I've been worried about falling and breaking my hand. And not being able to crochet. All right. Cow's face is done. Let me give you another hint for what is under our frog. All right. Hint number one. Wait, we got to move this over. There we go. Hint number one is that it's a berry. It's a solitary animal. Hint number two was that. Ooh, okay. This is going to be a good hint, actually. Hint number two is that it's a good swimmer. Hint number three was that it has a huge appetite. And hint number four is that it often, this animal, ah, there we go. This animal often gives birth to twins. Isn't that interesting? It often gives birth to twins. What animal do you think that is? Again, I'm gonna put it in the chat right now where you can guess. First one to get it right wins a $20 gift card. Boom. They were they were rollerblading. Good. I'm glad those bunnies were rollerblading. First one to get it right wins a gift card. Anybody that gets it right after that, uh, the next 10 people also get a gift card, but it's for less money. And now let me go grab Mr. Jimbo. I got to clean up a little bit before I grab him. Because he will fight us. And we can't... Unfortunately, we won't be able to say hi to Jimbo for very long because he will go crazy. And he probably will try to rip one of these bonimals off of my body. But we'll see what happens there. All right. Jimbo! Your fans await. Come on in. Yes, your fans await. Yes, yes, they want, they want to say hi to you. Yes, do you want to say hi to them? Of course, of course, of course. Oh yeah, you're knocking off all the bonimals off of me. But that's okay. Do I say hi? Yeah. <laughs> hi. What? Yeah. What? 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 Oh gosh. You knocked over all the bonimals, dude. Well, I don't. I know you don't care, but I care. Yeah! What? Oh my gosh. Yeah, very talkative. Okay. Yeah. Tell us how you really feel. Wow. Anything else you want to say? Okay, we're going to put this blue... The, our, our blue frog there. Do you have anything else you want to tell him? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he has a lot... He has a lot to say. <laughs> What? He wants pets. That's all he wants. That's all he ever wants is pets. He's licking me a bunch right now. You can hear him purring, purring too. He's so cute though. He's so cute though. Can you hear him purring? Okay, buddy, you're gonna sit right here. Yeah, you are. Yes. Don't fight me on this. Sit right there, I'll bring you right here and you can just chill. No, stay. <laughs> no. This is why we can't let him, we can't let the beast out. He, he, no. Go, go lay down. Don't attack the yarn. Okay, we're good. No, we're not. Okay, well, we're gonna figure. Hey, hey, stop! See, this is why. This is no. Stop it! <laughs> Damn it! Okay, uh, I gotta, I gotta kick out Jimbo. Stop! Let go of the yarn. Stop it! You're, well, you're, well, it's around your butt. Okay, okay. Say bye. Bye. He's going bye bye. I love you. I love you, buddy. 
What a wild child. <sighs> He's very sweet. I love him very much. But also, he has shut off the live stream before. And he wanted to rip apart this Bonhamel, so... We gotta do what we gotta do, you know? Yeah. Yeah, we gotta do what we gotta do. <laughs> Attack of the kitty, yeah, exactly. Um, alright, let's get back to it here. Is that, is it a panda for the bottom? What, is what a panda? There's a panda right here. Or you mean under that? Well, I'm not telling you that. Oh, he's still meowing. Oh, well. Well, Jimbo, you can you can live with it. I think you're going to be okay, buddy. We're almost done. He's so cute, though. What? What's wrong with my head? Oh, no. <laughs> what is it? Okay, wait. Black yarn. Oh, he's doing he's doing his really sad meows now. He does this this meows when when he doesn't get what he wants where he goes Mow. Sounds like a uh, like he's dying or something, but really he's just like I wanted more pets. Mo pets more problems. That's what I that's what I say. No, not really. Ooh. This leg is being difficult. Take it one stitch at a time. Oh my gosh. He's such a complainer. Yeah. Usually it's not too bad because Jules is here to like keep him busy, but not today. He went out. Okay, we're adding another foot here, and I'm doing this foot in black, because that's kind of fun. Okay, there we go. We can cut their black yarn. I don't think we need our black yarn at all anymore. I might be wrong about that, but we'll find out in a second. Sent in my guess, but it's probably not the first. Ooh, it's pretty fun, right? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to guess the animals. I'm going, I'm looking through all the guesses right now. <laughs> Jesus, Jimbo is freaking out. All right. uh, wow. I'll be honest, guys. There's been a lot of guesses here. I <laughs> oh. I love I love some of these guesses though because they just give me good ideas for bonimals. Cool. All right. Often he gives birth to twins. Okay. Yeah, I give you really hard I give you really hard hints too. Okay. Next up is a leg, and then yeah, I'm gonna do a. I'm going to finish this live stream up with a, a frog in whatever color you guys want. And I'll give you a few I'll give you a few options obviously. We can vote on it. But that'll be our last one because it's already 245. 
like in, in time that we've been crocheting. So I wanna go pretty quick, hence why I wanna do a frog, because those are the easiest, quickest ones. I can finish this up really quick. Oh, this part of the yarn is covered by cat slobber. I can feel it. Yuck. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right, one, two, and three, okay. All right, just a few more rounds here. You can see our cows coming together. Pretty good, actually. I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Yes, I replace, I, I lose my needle so often. So often, it's, it seems, it's improbable how often I lose my needles. I totally get that. Decrease. All right, let's add a magnet. Uh, we can add a magnet to the top of these ones because there's not that many ears. Not about ears. Boop. Make sure it's the right way. Yes. First try. There we go. Good. I mean, it's 50 50, but. Oh, yes, the blue bunny. Oh, I'm sorry. I will put the blue bunny on. One second. Sorry. I totally forgot. go just want to put those there so that the magnets stay in place and what was your blue bunny's name let's look you didn't name it june june i need you to name the blue bunny <laughs> yeah name your bunny when you can okay let's put the blue bunny oh, look we got a nice open spot right here where the blue frog is supposed to be We'll put the blue frog on too. Back on. Put the blue frog. How about right here? On this shoulder. If I can. It's actually this is actually a pretty hard one to get to. There we got it. I got it. All right. I am officially covered in bonimals. Even on the head. Ah. Wow. wow, even. Klaus, Klaus, of course its name is Klaus. Klaus the bunny. Where is he? Right here. Hello, Klaus. Okay, we need to stuff our cow. I'm just gonna use extra thread for that. And then, that's a lot, that's a lot of thread. That's good. Boom. Oh, my bad. Okay. Uh, and then once I finish up this row, round, let's uh, have you guys vote on what color to make our last frog. And then halfway through the frog, I'll give you the last hint for the giveaway. And I think you're gonna need this last hint. Well, some people. I think some people are awaiting this last hint. And the last. Oh well, never mind. I'll. You'll you'll know the last hint when it comes. There we go. Okay. And of course, we still need to add a tail, but I have a really easy way to make the make these tails. And oh wait, I can use the magnets on top of his head. We only need two.
I guess I could have stuffed it a little bit more, but eh, it's okay. It's entirely stuffed with cotton. That's nice. Good way to use extra... The extra, um, bits. Less waste. Two... Three... Tight. And then we come out on the back so we can use this end as a tail. Simplify. Simplify, people. There we go. And then we just need to knot this. And we've got one more bottom of the make. There we go. Like that. All right. Here we go. Magnet on top. Boom! Nether cow made. Now we got a cow. We got a beaver. We got a bunny. And the last thing we want to make is another frog. But I need you to choose what color we're going to make our frog. So, um, last poll. What color frog should we make? And this is not going to be a very long pa uh, end part. So just give me a heads up. We're going to do purple because I like the color purple a lot. We'll go... Um, pink. Um, red and yellow. There we go. Questions asked. Let me know what color you want me to make our last frog today. And hey, if you haven't yet, please like this video. 550 likes is what we're going for. Uh, and I mean, we're a little far away from that, but that's okay. If we don't have another giveaway like next live stream, I don't. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. A lot of yellow. Ooh, it's it. The the votes moving around here. I'm not gonna give it too long for the vote. So vote now. Vote quick. Yeah. And yes, the pattern for the fro uh, for the pug will be released soon. However, the book does explain a little bit of how to make the pug. So, like all the instructions are there, you just gotta figure it out. But I will do a whole video tutorial for the pug soon. Looks like our frog's gonna be. Looks like it maybe is gonna be yellow. I'll grab the yellow. I've got this really beautiful golden yellow actually that we can use for it. Oh, oh, yellow, red, purple. They're all tied. We're going to, f I'm going to stop it at f 50 votes at the most. There's 44 right now. So there's a few more votes, 45. It's a tie. It's a tie game right now. Purple, yellow, red, all tied. I'm going to just choose yellow if, uh. Oh, 46. Ooh, a little bit towards purple. Only a few more votes. Anybody anybody left to vote? Countdown. 20. Oopsies. Let's go. Hold on, gotta grab my purple yarn. All right. Here's the purple. We're gonna use a darker purple for this. Okay, it looks like, oh yeah, purple won it. Purple won it at the very uh, last second. Good job, purple. All right, because I don't think I don't think there's enough votes to beat it at this point. All right. We could have done a rainbow one. That is true. All right. We, next time we'll do a rainbow one next time. Purple is what we're making, though. We're just going to make a quick purple frog. And I am going to um, make... Once I get to the face, I'll do the last hint for our giveaway. Which is cool. It's going to be fun. Yeah, but we're doing a darker purple, Kelly. It's a different purple. 
different purple. Five. And six. I'm really fast at making these, uh, these frogs. Because I've made so many at this point. So, don't blink or you're going to miss it. Don't blink. Where's my white yarn, though? Here it is. And watch, I'll make this whole thing. We're going to throw this darning needle over there. You're not going to even see me. I'm not even going to use my darning needle for this frog. That's how much I got this. I don't even need a needle. One. Two. Three. Speed run and crochet. It'd be f actually, that might be kind of a fun challenge eventually, is like try to beat my record for how fast I can crochet a frog. That'd be fun. Optimi optimization of crochet. Optimal. This is an optimal pattern. Right. The walrus stole my needle. Yeah, whatever you do, don't blink. Don't blink. If you blink, you're dead. I gotta make a salamander neck. Let the white fall to the ground. We don't even need it no mo. One. <laughs> and in Australia. Well, good day. Thanks for joining. Right? That would be a fun challenge. Okay, I'm glad you agree. You can save a few frames if you yarn over. <laughs> yeah. Doctor Who person? Yes, I have. I've actually done a few Doctor Who things. Quick neck knuckle crack. Here we go. Ready? This is your ASMR for the day. Ooh. Can't get my neck. Ready? You're going to hate this. That was crazy. Wow. That was that was a crazy amount of neck cracking. Yikes. Yikes, am I right? <laughs> Here comes the, the onslaught of comments about don't crack your neck, you're gonna break your neck. Which you're not wrong. I probably will eventually. Not really. I hope not. That would suck. A chubby lizard. I've done a, I did a um, chameleon actually once, so that's not a bad idea. It was a good neck crack, Kelly. <laughs> Felt good too. <laughs> All right. Three, two. Okay, one more round, and then the face, and then the hint, and then the finishing the bottom hole. And then the Easter eggs. Ooh, a spotted frog would be fun. I should totally do a spotted frog. Spotted, spotted frog. By the way, hi, Sue Empire Coyote. 
Thanks for joining. I don't think I've seen you in the comments before. Welcome. <laughs> I'll look for the chameleon. I, I'm not totally sure where it is. This was even before I started putting magnets in it, so it was a very early draft. But I will look for it. Okay. That round is done. Add the eyes. Eight millimeter eyes. For my optimal speed running, I definitely have to have the eyes ready. So I can just add them like really fast. But it's Easter. go eyes are added oh I, I didn't make it to three three hours but that's okay mouth I gotta optimize the mouth edition also because this is taking far too long. Well, cut it. One, two, pop that off. All right, we'll need a little bit more of this black yarn at the end, but a black thread at the end for the butt. Got a little white coming out of there. That's kind of weird, but that's pretty good. Frogs coming together. All right. Keep going. Oh, wait. I, ah, ah, ha, ha. Last hint. Last hint. This is an important one. Listen specifically to how I say this. Okay? Because this is important. You got to listen. So the very last hint for our bonimal, or for your guess for what is in this bonimal, is... Well, let's go through the hints that have gone through already. Hint number one, it's a very solitary animal that's under this frog. Uh, hint number two, it is a good swimmer. That is, uh, it is a very good swimmer, which is kind of surprising. Hint number three, it's got a huge appetite, big appetite. Hint number four is that it often gives birth to twins. And then the final hint for the giveaway is, oh gosh, it's so big, hold on. Let me shorten this a little bit. And I'll cut a couple of spaces out to try to give it some room. There. Okay. The hint, the last hint, hint number five is it's a boot a thousand pounds. A boot a thousand pounds. Sometimes it's a little bit more, but I would say it's a, a boot a thousand pounds. What hint? What does it mean? What does it mean? Usually, I mean, sometimes it's more. It's more, but usually it's a boot, a thousand pounds. <laughs> Which is pretty heavy, if you ask me. So it is a big animal. Anybody get the secret hint? There's a secret hint in that last hint, if you haven't been able to tell. Jules said that that last hint was going to give it away. And 
I and I said, really? All right, if you say so. What does it mean? Cooper said that's the only hint they needed to hear. Cooper got the hint. Cooper got the secret hint. <laughs> it's a boot. It's a boot. I should say sorry. Sorry, I meant I meant it's a boot, a thousand pounds. It's not what I said, but it's how you say it, you know. You think you got it, eh? You think you got it, eh? Oh, does it? it reminds you. Of of Canada, huh? Well, that's interesting. Oh, yes, sorry. You guess on the forum. Here, I'll put the link in the comments again, but it's also in the description of where you can guess. Here you go. There you go. Guess there. And there's been a lot of guesses. 73 guesses already, so that's, that's pretty good. We're going to finish this frog. I'll show you what it is, and then uh, we'll get rocking and rolling today, and you guys can enjoy your Easter. I mean, hopefully you've already been enjoying your Easter, though. All right, let's get back to our speed run. <laughs> you could guess. I mean, I told you it's going to be a really hard one this this week. I told you. It's because everybody keeps getting it right too quick. So I had to make it hard. I had to make give you hard guesses this time. All right, magnets. Uh, look in the chat. Just above you in the chat, Charlie, there is a um, a comment that I did that says, "Guess what today's bonmal is," and it's a forum, and then you can guess there. Or there's a, the link is also in the description of this video. Two, boom. Oh, shoot, I almost forgot to stuff it a little. Just a little bit. Do I have any more threads that I can stuff it with? Yes, I do. Oopsies, I hit the camera. Just a few more threads. Look at that. We actually don't have any. We have used almost all of our threads from this video. So that's pretty good. It's a good. It's a good way to get rid of leftovers. This music is from uh, uh, Mario Odyssey. It's from the plant or the the forest level where you go. Um, you get like there's. You can turn into like a cabbage on this level and like grow really high and then you can uh there's like robots that talk to you and stuff it's from that level of mario i'm pretty sure because i played that i played that level so much because i really liked the song of it yes everybody like this video who hasn't please like this video we're going for 550 if we can get there but regardless like the just just please 
All right, just about done here. We just need to stuff it a little bit, add the last magnet so it closed, and then add our last um, bit of a, uh, of, we gotta add a butt, basically. You gotta add a butt. Good. All right, now here's a little hint for, or here's a little tip for everybody on how to sew your piece closed without using a darning needle. Check this out, ready? You're gonna learn something new today. I'll zoom in for you too. There you go, I'm zooming in on a frog's butt. Isn't that fun? All right, so we just take your crochet hook and you go through the front loops only of all the last stitches. So I'm just gonna go like this. But you wanna point from the inside out. Oh wait, I forgot to add the magnet, hold on. Looks like that. There we go. Okay. Wait. Right. Yeah. Okay. So here's what you do. You take a crochet hook from the inside out, go through the front loops only, and yarn over and pull it through. Just like that. Through all the front loops. There should be six of them total. So there's one. Sorry, I'm, I'm wiggling around a lot. Two. I did that one kind of weird, but that's okay. Three. go in through somewhere on the back, then it out to the very center, yarn over, pull through, and pull through that other end, and then just pull it tight, and it should sew closed. There we go. That is the secret way of how to sew closed without using a darning needle. Boom. All right. Next, uh, last bit is we want to add a little butt using this black yarn or thread. And we're going to do the same thing. We're not going to use a darning needle yet or at all. We're just going to come through the side to like here. Like that. There we go. And through the bum. No. No, we want it right there. Okay. Boom. And then we'll double knot this. And we're going to stuff it back in with a little bit of stuffing that I pulled out. One. And. It's close. All right, guys. That's our last crocheted bonimal for the day. Let's find out who won our giveaway. All right, here's the here's what we made today, by the way. Look at that. That's a pretty good haul. Three new, or four new Bonimals. Okay. Let's find out what is under our frog. Again, let's go through our hints. Now, I, I'm turning off responses right now, by the way. Responses are, oh, one person got in right at the last second. Anybody else? Okay. And... Responses are off. Okay, creating a new spreadsheet so I can find out. 
Okay. Now I will tell you something. I'm pretty sure 10 people did not get it. I'm pretty sure here's here's the crazy thing. Only a few people got it. But the person that got it right was the fourth person that guessed got it right. I don't know how they did it. I think it was even before the guessing came up. But someone got it right, like right in the beginning. Okay. So the answer to our questions are, again, it is a solitary animal, a good swimmer, which is a surprise actually, a huge appetite, often gives birth to twins, and is a boot, a thousand pounds. The answer is, boop. It's a moose. That's right. It's a moose. All along, it was a moose. <laughs> Look at those cool little antlers. Isn't that cool? It was a moose. Pretty cute. Not gonna lie. Pretty happy with it. And the winner for our giveaway was... The winner of our giveaway was Hannah. Hannah K, who got it right within the first few, like, first few minutes of the live stream. Hannah, very impressive. Claps for Hannah. I don't know if you're still in the live stream, but congratulations. I'm very, very impressed that they got it right. Um, I'm going to be sending you an email with all the info and how you get a little um, uh, uh, a gift card to the shop. Other people that got it right. Let me highlight them so I can make sure. But it took until the last guess for anybody else to get it right. I think it's because of that. The it's a good swimmer uh, hint. Because that that was like kind of a throws you off kind of hint. Um, let's see. Let me make sure I didn't miss anybody. Yes, I didn't. Okay, great. So, right? The antlers are pretty cool. Um, the other people that got it right, Cooper got it right. St uh, Streaks got it right. Serenity, Sunshine, Gen Genia, and Bobby all got it right. Right at the last second. Right at the last second. Thank you guys so much for joining. I hope you guys have a great Easter or whatever you're celebrating. Have a nice Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure to like this video. If you'd like to support, please consider becoming a Club Crochet member. Um, you have until the end of the month to sign up for that pro kit. And this is going to be, you're going to be able to choose between five different uh, endangered creatures. Here's two of the ones that you're going to be able to choose from. There's a dugong and a, um, and a snowy plover. But there's three more that I'll show you in other live streams coming up. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. Um, all right. Uh, you want me to name the moose Mark? Mark the moose? I'll think about that. I will I will strongly consider that. All right, guys. Pasta la pizza. Happy hooking. And oh, my gosh. No, you hang up. Oh, my God, Claire. You're so bad. You hang up. Oh my gosh. Claire, you hang up first. Oh, stop it. Oh my God. You hang up first. Wow. 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 <laughs> Cooper's like, I heard a boot and I rolled my eyes and typed moose. Ha 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 ha. You're like one of the only ones that got that though. Okay, guys. Pasta pizza. Bye-bye.